Hello, this is Brad from Maker Nexus in Sunnyvale, California. Today I'm going to talk to you about Vectrix product called VCarve, which we use to drive the ShopBot, the CNC wood router called ShopBot that we have in our wood shop. You can download a free copy of their product called VCarve Pro, which is what I use, uh, and then convert it to a Makerspace edition, which uh, takes away the some of the trial um, limitations, the free trial limitations. So the first thing we do is go to vectric.com and here's a web page where there's lots of information about all the products. I'm going to click on the free trial. I'm going to click on VCar Pro. And then there's download VCar Pro trial. If I click on that, it brings up a place where I can sign up for the newsletters and all that. That's not required. If you do sign up, you'll get occasional useful in emails from them and it's easy to stop them. However, I'm going to say download as a guest which passes by all of that. What's going to happen is it's going to start downloading this uh, executable. So rather than spend uh, six minutes waiting for it, we'll use the copy that I already have downloaded. So you're going to double click on it, you're going to run it, you're going to do the usual Windows installation. So since I've already downloaded my copy, I'm going to double click on it. When you bring it up, the splash screen has lots of great information. One of the best things they have are some tutorials right here. I'm going to suggest that you watch the uh, Take the Tour um, video for starters. Uh, it will give you a quick overview of how to use the product. Uh, it's 15 minutes long, and the first 10 minutes are super useful and um, relate to Maker Nexus. They use their Aspire product, which is about three times as expensive, very functional, but beyond my price point. So um, I'm more of a free software guy, so we're going to use VCar Pro. So here's VCar Pro. What's going to happen is when you download it, you get a free trial version, which is mostly functional. You can uh, use the drawing tools, you can create tool paths, uh, but I, and you can save your work, uh, but you can't take it anywhere else and you can't write tool paths, meaning that you can create tool paths, but you can't turn it into anything that'll actually work with a CNC machine. That's actually not completely true. They do offer a, a, a few sample files that you can download and run and test those, uh, but you can't make any changes. The uh, Makerspace version is much more useful. So to turn your trial version into a Makerspace version, you come to the Help menu, and you click the last item that says About VCarve Pro Trial Edition. And normally you can uh, either enter a license code or you can enter a Makerspace ID. So I happen to have Maker Nexus's um, saved in my cut buffer. So I'm going to hit Control V and click OK. And it's going to say, please restart. And when I restart, when I restart, when I restart, it's going to uh, show up as a uh, full version. So we click on the about again, and it says, Here's my Makerspace ID. This is linked to Maker Nexus. So the, the reason to do it this way is that uh, once you've created your file and saved it to your flash drive, you can bring it to the Maker Nexus shop and you can load it on um, our computer there, bring your file in, and uh, you'll be able to write um, code that will make our shop bot to do your bidding. So that being said, um, I'm going to suggest that you take the tour. There's lots of great tours. And uh, the, uh, the video here is super useful. Um, the, I'll give you a very short overview, but theirs is uh, complete. She has a uh, British accent, um, so uh, hopefully she's understandable. We're going to create a new file. We have to basically uh, create the size of the work we want to do. This is our workspace. And we can do a bunch of drawing using all the drawing tools. And then when we're done with that, we click on the tool paths, and we create our tool paths and uh, uh, save this file. And bring the file to Maker Nexus. And again, we will use the Save Toolpath section once we have our uh, file done. If you check this directory, this YouTube directory, there will be other examples. I'm making a couple of parts the um, coaster that we use in our class, and also a sign that I created as a demo. And uh, both of those have uh, second videos that show you the uh, second step where you bring your file in at Maker Nexus and create the, uh, the executable code that will make the shop bot to your bidding. Thanks for your time. Hope to see you in the makerspace and uh, uh, have a good day.